Good evening, it's Brian at Fitzpatrick's Garage, Dublin Road, Kildare. I want to show you this 2014 Honda Civic 1.6 diesel and this is an ES model. Brian's my name, if there's any information you like on this particular car please do give us a call 086-843-1945 just in case you're wondering who we are. Fitzpatrick's Garage is a garage in Kildare Town. It is here in operation for almost 70 years. So behind me over here you'll see there is Mace there's also Honda over here, there's Hyundai behind me, way up the road there, there's Mercedes, and then there's Garage and Nace, Carlo, Tullamore as well. So, um, from your own business like this, if you're going to be spending a lot of money on a nice car like this, then you know that there's going to be an after sale service because the car, the car, the garage is here so long. Anyway, let's have a look at this particular car. So like what we were saying, 1.6 diesel, the colour on the outside is what is called polished metal. Significant features on this car at the start, from what we see straight away is nice daytime running lights along through here during the day and then after that we have front fog lights uh, because this is the middle spec ES model it comes with those front fog lights as extra double optic headlights which are standard in all those Civics so uh, dipped headlight here full headlight in through here the engine behind there is a 1.6 diesel engine which is 120 horsepower with 300 newton meters of torque so it's one of the torquiest um, I suppose in plain English it's got one of the best feedbacks when you put your foot down in terms of power in this range of car. 180 euros a year for road tax and check this out. Previous owner who's done just over about 81,000 kilometers in the car um, has averaged 3.8 litres per 100 kilometres. If you live in the Stone Age and you're like me, that is over 70 miles per gallon, which is damn serious uh, going, so it is so. Um, really nice condition throughout, actually. So in terms of, uh, let's have a quick look. The front of the car, uh, nice condition all the way around the bumper. Um, bonnet, it's kind of hard to see actually this evening. I'm sure there's a couple of stone chips on it, there generally is. Can't see any obvious ones just because of the rain, unfortunately. This front wheel over here is in very nice condition and it's polished. So diamond cut wheels like that, there's a nice reflective finish on them. They look really well. Down the side of the car, there is um, a really nice tidy set of doors onto a quarter panel. Around to the rear bumper, it is in nice condition. Previous owner also specified parking sensors along the rear which make noise to go with the reverse camera that also comes standard on this car because it is the middle spec ES quarter panel down along the doors, all in nice condition as well. This rear left hand side wheel is in excellent condition. The front left hand wheel is in excellent condition. And I forgot to look, but I'm assuming the rear right hand side wheel is going to be equally in good condition as well. These cars, because uh, as you've seen, there's extreme frugality when it comes to fuel efficiency. Even small things like, we'll say, if you look down the side of that car, air is deflected off this hair in the most aerodynamic fashion. And if we look underneath the car, which I know is hard to see from there because it's dark, it's actually flat underneath, unlike some cars. Um, again, just for the best direction and channeling of airflow to reduce and improve um, aerodynamics and obviously to reduce drag is what I meant to say there. So, in terms of the car, condition wise really nice, polished metal, really good colour, nice specification as we see so far. The boot is in excellent condition, and I'm not just saying this actually because we do get in plenty of 13s and 14s, this has been well looked after. Um, there is also a spare wheel, that is not a standard feature on these cars, so the previous owner would have paid 300 euros for that spare wheel. Um, after that then we have handles in through here which open up the door to be a right angle. Um, so if we look along down through here there is seats are in excellent condition. Same over here as well and then down through here armrest in the centre with the drinks holder. Up through here we have three head restraints and three three-point safety belts. There is chai locks down here and rear electric windows down through there. Um, and what I'd say to you, the door card here and over here and the seats and the carpets are all in really nice condition. And if we lift up that seat, it's also a magic seat. So we have a tall mode, basically, if you've anything awkward and tall that you want to put up through there. Or similarly, we can drop this one down through here if you want a nice flat area in the rear so um oh, okay after that then moving around to the front of the car there is electrics for windows front and rear 
these are also electric folding and the lights are automated so what I mean by that is if we walk outside the car I just want to show you something off the key while I'm doing that anyway one cool thing actually because we're going to put 12 months warranty on this car and roadside assist and it's got an NCT till 1 of 20 and it's got tax until 1 of 19 so whoever buys this car I think is getting a really good deal because it is ready to go for quite some time so lights are automatic uh, lock the car fine unlock the car lights come back on and then what I can do is if we watch the windows I can fold them down from the key if I do it properly which I haven't there we go windows down and oh my god the hand eye coordination thing is just not happening so lock or sorry unlock once unlock a second time so let's watch the windows this time there we go all the way down or if I lock it keep my finger on it windows are going to go up and wing mirrors are going to retract and then that wing mirror won't come back out until I go and open up this driver's door and then it comes back out as well so all very useful features in terms of the inside that driver's seat is in excellent condition as is this passenger seat over here door card's nice dash is nice door card over here nice so all good so far if you come to look at this car you're not going to be unhappy with condition um, aluminium pedals which came on the ES at the time it has an immobilizer it has an alarm uh, and then over here traction control height of the lights we have, I'm just going to turn on the car for a sec, so this is your view, I'm just going to move the seat back. Okay, so when you're sitting in the car, you got your speedo there, you got your revolution counter in through here, uh, fuel and temperature over there, and automatic lights which come on at night, wipers which come on at rain, so the sensors are located up here. There is cruise control so you can set and maintain your speed, you have an iMIT function which changes over here for average speed, fuel consumption, all the trip information and all that kind of stuff, and then if I go for camera, we also see reverse camera off the eye line, which uh, have sensors, as we were saying, which the rear owner specified. So if we drive up to this Lexus behind us, it's going to make noise, I hope, or else we're going to have an accident. Okay, fine, so there we go. Um, after that, down through here, I have USB and auxiliary to charge phone, play music. Um, and after that, then, this steering wheel is rake reach, so in and out and up and down as well. Driver, passenger, airbags, side airbags in the side of the seat and also curtain up high and all these doors have side impact protection bars as well and then as we saw there was stability control and traction control and also anti-lock brakes and all that kind of stuff as well so safety features are quite good bluetooth is controlled from here gears are six forward and because of the ES we have leather steering wheel and leather gear knob as well so that is a quick overview of that car so if you are looking for a 2014 Honda Civic or actually okay if you look for a 2014 Honda Civic it's definitely worth coming Looking at, it's a nice colour and it's in nice condition throughout. Um, if you're looking for a good frugal but nice to drive car and something that's a little bit different than the regular sort of usual suspects of cars that are available on the market, this is definitely one to consider. And think about it this way, if you want a car that basically is going to be serviced, and I mean we comprehensively service and we look at the car, tyres, brakes, all that kind of stuff, we want you driving out of here and we can say to you, right, you don't have to spend any money for 20,000 kilometers. The second thing then is on this particular one, um, it's taxed until next January. It's actually NCT'd until January of 2020. And then after that, we're going to give you 12 months warranty. We're going to give you 12 months roadside assist. Um, so really, when you're buying a car, sometimes, yes, it's nice to buy a car, but you have to factor in the bills after. Whoever buys this car has normally spent for quite a significant portion of time after that, so it's a wise kind of investment from that point of view. Um, we do finance and we can trade in any car you want as well, so if you want information on the car, please do give me a call 086 843. Brian is my name, I don't seem to be able to work a camera properly, it's kind of the opposite of what you think. So hopefully this particular car is of interest and thanks for taking time to watch.